Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of How Much House for the Money. How's everybody out there doing today? It's great to be with you again. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome to subscribe and join our growing community. This is where we venture through state to state, through town to town, to see how much house, cabin, and acreage we can get for our money. And today we're moving into another beautiful state of interest, looking at more properties. And we're going to be checking out these houses here. This one is on 1.15 acres, great little hobby farm opportunity here for $145,000. And then this one here is on a 7,000 square foot lot for those that don't want any acreage for 129,000. And then this house here may be the deal of the day. It's sitting on eight acres of land for $110,000. So we're gonna be checking out some details on these properties while we move into the beautiful state of Michigan today. So for those of you that wanna to move to Michigan, you're gonna be living with just under, well, just over 10 million people. And uh, the real estate tax rate is 1.24%, which is coming in higher than that national average at 0.99%. And when I looked at the weather, the weather channel tells us that it's in the low or high 60s and uh, full of sunshine, which I'm sure many of us could use right about now. And uh, all I ask is that you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell and share this information so we can help those displaced from Hurricane Helene. And those are going to be displaced from this massive Hurricane Milton that's going to plow through the state of Florida. Uh, you know, please keep all of those people in Florida and all these other states, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee in your thoughts and prayers. And please check out my previous episodes where I share the meal stations, food stations, and the drop-off locations for those states because people need our help. We need to help our own. So please just do what we can. And if there's any way that you can subscribe and share this information, I would so appreciate it. So let's see where we're going. Oh, and before I forget, I want to say the minimum wage in Michigan right now is ten thirty-three. However, it's supposed to climb according to Associated Press, according to a court ruling, uh, up to twelve dollars and forty-eight cents by February twenty-first of next year. So just an FYI, that's what the minimum wage is. Okay, so we're going to check out this property right here. This one is in Lansing, Michigan. So when we look at Lansing, Michigan on the map, let's see here. This is Lansing. We are in, let's see, this is the area. We're above Mason. We're to the west of Williamston here, and we're to the east of Grand Ledge and up north of Potterville. So here we are in Lansing. So scroll out a little bit. So we have Ann Arbor down here, Battle Creek down here, and Grand Rapids is over to the west. And this is situated at 2558 Gilbert Road. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath house with 900 square feet on 1.15 acres. You could totally have a hobby farm here. It's only been on the market a day, and it was built in 1910. So this is what we're getting for 145000 This is super cute. Nice yard, very minimal landscaping around the exterior. Looks like it's vinyl-sided with some shutters and a shingle roof. Pink skies in Michigan. This is really pretty. Looks like it's on a concrete block foundation. Here's our back deck. That's very nice with a walkway. It looks like the yard is fenced in with vinyl chain link. That's very nice. We have a propane tank and a long driveway. The roof looks like it's in really good shape. I bet it's very pretty right now and the leaves are falling. The seasons are beginning to change in Michigan and many other states. Here's our drone view. Thank goodness for drones right now. They are really helping locate, miss, you know, locating the people in the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina. So to drone operators out there, I thank you very much. You are really, really helping out your talented individuals. That's for sure. It is an art. So here's more of our overhead view. Beautiful parcel. So it looks like we have an outbuilding with the property as well. Garage. We have some nice trees along the edge line. There's another view of the outside. Yeah, this looks spotless. So there's our back deck. Plenty of room for our coffee and our conversation. 
in our barbecues. There's another view of that building. Plenty of room for two vehicles or your snow blower and a tractor or your car and a snow blower, your lawnmowers. Okay, and there's another view of that deck. That might be a tie back deck there. Beautiful fenced in yard. Here's our entry point on the back of the house. Oh no, actually that's the front porch. That's very nice. Great place for your morning coffee. So now we're moving right on into the inside, light and bright interior. Looks like it has some nice updates. There's a trap door there off the living room. Very nice little house right here. Move in ready. And remember, we're not just getting the house and the parcel, we're also getting the well, the septic, the utilities. And this one is 145,000. What a cute kitchen. It might be virtually staged. There's a beautiful granite countertop there. Here's our kitchen cabinets. We do have a window above the sink. Dishwasher, refrigerator with a freezer on the top gas propane stove, laminate flooring in the kitchen. Could be vinyl, but it looks like laminate. Recessed lights. And again, you can always have home inspections, find out how long the home has been vacant, ask about the utility bills. There is an overhead microwave above the gas range. Looks like there's a bathroom right off the kitchen there. Very pretty house, move in ready. Drop in sink, that's very nice. Deep bowl sink too. Okay, now we're moving into the bedrooms. And here's the bathroom, nice tile work. Tub and shower combination. Do you have a little water closet there with a the commode and then you have your tub and the sink and the vanity separate, that's nice. Here's the upstairs bedroom that does have carpet. Okay, now we're moving into the basement with your washer and dryer, water system, and a home inspection will check on the mechanicals and things. Yeah, this is very nice. Move in ready house for $145,000 and we're in Lansing, Michigan. And again, the real estate tax rate is 1.24%. This is adorable. Very nice, move in ready, very clean. Looks like well-maintained, solid build. And it's on 1.15 acres of land with a detached garage built in 1910. And it says here, peacefulness of the country yet minutes from dining, shopping and entertaining just over an acre. Uh, surrounded by open space, welcoming front porch for your morning coffee, and updated interior with flooring. And then for the history on this one, this one was sold in 2021 for $30,000. Oh wait, I gotta go down, sorry about that, wow. Okay, so that was sold in 2020 for 100,000. Then it was sold in November, well that doesn't make any sense. It was says October 19th, 2020, 100. Then a month later, it sold for 35, or listed for 35, then removed, and then relisted for 35,000, then removed, and then they sold it for 30 in 2021, and now they're relisting it for 145,000. So I'm not sure what that history, I'm not really sure if that's correct, but it's 114 years old nonetheless, and they're asking $145,000 for it. So let's look at the street view. Wow, this is really pretty location. Look at that. Beautiful country, rural location of Lansing, Michigan. And this one again is $145,000. So let's look at our satellite view real quick. There's our satellite view. So we're in a neighbor, we're not far from neighborhoods, but we do have some 
privacy with this parcel here. Very pretty. And that's 2558 Gilbert Road for 145,000 Lansing, Michigan. Two bedroom, one and a half bathrooms, 1.15 acres. Okay, now we are moving into Barrington, Michigan, 49305. So Barrington is right here on the map in Muscata County. So here we are in Barrington. We're above Weedman, above Lake Isabella. So we're right below Everett in, uh, let's see, Reed City. So here we are, Barrington, Michigan, right here. Chippewa Lake is right over here to the west. So here we are. So scroll out a little bit. Mount Pleasant, Midland over here to the east. Grand Rapids is down to the south. So we're north of Grand Rapids. And we're at 18840 Hillview Boulevard. This is a two-bedroom, one-bath house with 1,308 square feet on a 7,275 square foot lot. 129,000, and this house was built in 1950. It's been on the market for 11 days, and it's 129. What are we getting? Nice ranch on a concrete block foundation, and nice shingle roof with a side porch there, side patio, vinyl siding, right on the lake for the most part. There's another drone view. So here's a nice open floor plan with carpet. Plenty of room. There's like three sofas sitting right there. A lot of woodwork. Carpet. Pretty much an open plan. Here's a good size kitchen. Flat top range with a refrigerator, with a freezer on the top, vinyl flooring, baseboard heat, double sink with a window above it. You could always add hardware to the cabinets if you wanted. Looks like a laminate countertop. There's your floor plan with a garage. There again is another view of the living area. And there's a staircase to get us up to the next level. It's a lot of woodwork. If somebody wanted to, they could whitewash it all, but I don't know if you'd want to do that, but somebody might just to brighten it up and just change it up a little bit. But you could work off of that wood and make it very cabin-like. Even if you just changed the color of the cabinets, took out the carpet, there's a lot we could do with this. It's very nice, it looks very solid. So there's do a lot of closet space in the bedroom here with more carpet. Here's the bathroom with a washer and dryer. Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's one of those uh, soaker tubs, I do believe. So it looks like it's been closed up. You're gonna wanna know for how long. There's a washer and dryer. That's one less thing a buyer's gotta worry about. And we're in Barrington, Michigan. And there's a loft space, that's very nice. Plenty of room for furniture up there. And there's a view again of the lake. So this would probably come with some amenities. It's very pretty. Barryton, Michigan right here. So let's see what we're going, what we got going on with this one. It's at 18840 Hillview Boulevard and uh, 1,308 square feet, two bedrooms, one bath house, built in 1950. Charming bungalow retreat you've always dreamed of, delightful, delightful cottage, perfect blend of rustic elegance and modern comfort. And let's see, wall of windows in the living room offers breathtaking views of Upper Evans Lake. And let's see here. You can have, it says here, Enjoy direct water access to the Serene Lake part of Chain of Lakes, perfect for endless exploration and adventure with your own private dock. The possibilities for fun and relaxation are limitless. Both boating, fishing, simply soaking up the stunning views. The attached garage may only have one door, but inside it is the size of a two stall that can easily accommodate all of your toys. You can have a peaceful retreat or a year round home right here for $129,000. And then we look at the history, it was listed for 129 and that's where they're currently at. And the house is 74 years old. And again, the real estate tax rate is 1.24%.
in Michigan. So let's look at the uh, satellite view for this one. Here we are. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. So if anybody wants Berryton, Michigan, this one's 129 and you have amenities and you could have year-round living right here if you want a cabin-style cottage open floor plan without acreage. Very nice. 18840 Hilltop Boulevard, Berryton, Michigan. Okay, now we're moving into Edwardsburg. So Edwardsburg on the map is in Antwa Township. So here we are, not far from the Indiana line. So we're to the west of Adamsville, to the north of Granger, and here's Indiana. Wow, we are very close. So if any of you want Michigan, but you want to be close to Indiana, this may suit your needs. Not far, far, far from Illinois either. Okay, so this one's 110,000. It's a four bedroom, two bath house with 2,000 square feet of space with eight acres of land. It's only been on the market two days. It was built in 1940. So let's see what we're getting. And uh, it's at 25, 25590 Redfield Road, Edwardsburg, Michigan, 49112. So let's see what we're getting for 110,000. A attached two car garage, shingle roof, two story. Does have the nice covered porch on the front. And this one might need some attention and it could be vacant for a while. So we do have some bushes along the front that we could trim back. Shingle roof might need some attention. So does the siding. It definitely needs cleaned up. But that might be the rear side. Looks like we have an enclosed porch, but we're looking at eight acres, the land, the well, the septic, the utilities, and the parcel. Looks like they got a burn pile there that needs to be cleaned up. $110,000 for eight acres of land and a big house, 2,000 square feet. Okay, so here's a living room with a fireplace that looks really nice. So the carpet would have to be rolled up and removed. There's our kitchen. So we have a breakfast bar there. Wallpaper, sliding glass door. So we're gonna have to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty with this one. But if anybody's looking for eight acres, spread the word on this one. We're in Edwardsburg, Michigan. So there's what we see of the kitchen. You can salvage cabinets but we don't see any appliances. Looks like whoever lived here did a number on it. But that's okay, we can save these houses. They are full of potential. There we look like we have some holes in the floor. But if the roof is good and the well and septic are good, you're well on your way to fixing something up and having some real nice equity built in. Sweat equity. So there's another area of counter and sink and cabinet space. Here's a bathroom, whoa, wow. So yeah, we're gonna need to know how long this one's been sitting here. And never be afraid to make a deal on these types of houses, that's for darn sure. Put it in front of the seller, let them see it, let them review it, and uh, yeah. And don't forget, they are, you know, those rural agricultural loans are out there in every state, and this may qualify. You never know, so do some research on this because it does have the eight acres of land. So here we have a horrible tub surround that's gonna have to be ripped out. And there we have dual sinks in the vanity. We do have to get a window there. So here's probably a bedroom. Yeah, this one's seen better days, but it's not like we can't put life back into it. But it's definitely gonna need some immediate attention. Okay, so here's another bathroom. Here's another area of the house that looks like the garage with an overhead garage door opener, concrete floor. Could always use it for storage, clean it up. As long as there's, you know, if there's mold, you gotta eliminate that mold and things, but you never know how bad they are or how good they are until you look at them in person. Because these pictures don't always do it justice, that's for sure. But again, we're looking at eight acres of land in Edwardsburg, Michigan at 25590 Redfield Road. And it's a 2,000 square foot house built in 1940. And it says here, located on eight acres close to the state line. Uh, they are giving the owner occupants first look. And let's see. It says cash offers require 10% earnest money deposit. 
But you never know. It could qualify for that agricultural loan. You never know. So you do a little research on that. And for it was just listed. So the house is 84 years old. So whoever lived there just trashed it and left it for dead, basically. So let's see here. Here it is. Look at that beautiful location. Wow. We can revive this. This one has a lot of potential for those that are not afraid of it. It's going to take a little work and a little effort and a little money, but make them an offer. 110000 Make them an offer on what you feel it's worth. Have an appraisal done on it and get, have home inspections. So this is, uh, let's look at our satellite view real quick. Here we are. Wow. That's out there. Eight acres of land, really close to the Indiana line. 25590 Redfield Road, Edwardsburg, Michigan, 49112. For anybody looking for some eight acres of land and a larger house to uh, put some money into. And that will do it for Michigan today, you guys. Wherever you are, hope you're having a great day. Please share this information. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And, uh, and uh, for those of you that are in the wake of... Hurricane Milton, I'm with you, and uh, for those of you fleeing from Florida and you're on those highways, please stay safe. I've been in that situation. It can be controlled, and you know, we were on four lanes going north during Hurricane Irma, so just stay safe. Take your time. There's no rush. You'll get to where you're going, and uh, for those that are deciding to stay and hunker down, stay safe, and uh, before you know it, those good old boys will be coming down the road with their chainsaws, helping you out. That's the way Floridians roll, and uh, you gotta gotta love it. So for those of you in the other states, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, please, you know, share the information with those uh, meal stations and those drop-off locations, and whatever you guys can do that watch this, clean out your closets, clean out your pantries, and get supplies to these people, and let's help our own. So until the next state of interest, you guys, please stay safe, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Have a great day.